Here's a silverfish which I found at night on the kitchen counter, near the crack where the wall meets the counter. It moved quickly, although in a plastic container it seemed to get stuck sometimes. However, when I moved it to a cardboard box, it scurried around quickly, which suggested that it probably wasn't injured. Silverfish eat plant material like algae, starchy vegetables, cotton, hair, paper, and even glue. Adult silverfish can have long lifespans, often about three years, and sometimes up to eight years. However, as is usual for invertebrates, infant mortality is quite high. According to Wikipedia, quote, Before silverfish reproduce, they carry out a ritual involving three phases, which may last over half an hour. In the first phase, the male and female stand face to face, their trembling antennae touching, then repeatedly back off and return to this position. In the second phase, the male runs away and the female chases him. In the third phase, the male and female stand side by side and head to tail, with the male vibrating his tail against the female. Finally, the male lays a spermatophore, a sperm capsule covered in gossamer, which the female takes into her body via her ovipositor to fertilize her eggs. A silverfish usually lays fewer than 100 eggs in her lifetime. Together with jumping bristle tails, the predecessors of silverfish are considered the earliest, most primitive insects. They evolved at the latest in mid-Devonian and possibly as early as late Silurian more than 400 million years ago. End quote. Nonviolent ways to keep down silverfish populations in your home include keeping food in sealed containers or in the fridge, reducing sources of excessive moisture, reducing home humidity, such as through air conditioning, and sealing home cracks.